think it, I think it was kind of stupid. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here, doing another Walking Dead review on the McFarlane Toys 10-inch scale AMC's The Walking Dead Michonne. If you're trying to pick one of these up, you can get a big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to McFarlane Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from McFarlane Toys, check the links below. Very cool looking statue over here. I like how you can see Michonne right here wrapping around the side. It does look a little bit weird with her eye getting cut off right over there. But anyway, it says The Walking Dead. You can see the statue right there. Then on the back, you can see the five inch figures. I did a review on Morgan and the Impaled Walker. You can see that you can get her in two poses right there. And then you can see two images right over there. Not much more at the top or at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Michonne out of the packaging. A fantastic looking statue. I really like this a lot. This is actually my first 10 inch Walking Dead statue that I have in my possession. I've seen the Daryl and the Rick Grimes ones. I don't have those, but this one looks very, very cool. I do have a couple of little gripes that I will mention, but for the most part, I'm very excited to see all the paintwork and sculpt that we usually get from McFarland toys in this 10 inch scale because it is superb. So anyway, she does have the interchangeable arms right over here and surprisingly the statue does have articulation. Now here's looking at the head sculpt which I think looks fantastic. I think McFarlane Toys did a really good job of capturing the likeness of Denai over here. I think it really looks like her. A little gripe of mine is I do see a little bit of pink right there in her eyes. So her eyes do look a little bit red. But other than that, I think it's a really good head sculpt. I like it. I like the facial expression. The hair came out looking really, really good. Nice attention to detail on that headband too. That looks great. And that's actually sculpted on there. I could feel it with my fingernail. So I think that's awesome. Nice color variation in her hair. So I think that's really awesome. You can get this tie going around right there for the headband. I like that. This katana looks really good. Uh, one thing though is that it was a little bit warped in the packaging just from her holding it in the package as you can see right here. But I really like the paint apps on this. At first I actually thought it was a metal blade. I thought it was actual metal but it's not. It's just silver paint. Really good silver paint right there with some gray. I really like that. And the sheath right over here looks really good too. Nice attention to detail on there. That's really nice, and I really like this vest a lot. The vest came out great. Oop, I need to shove that arm in all the way, but yeah, it really looks like it's made out of leather. Nice little creases and cracks in there. Nice wrinkles. Even this little paint right here for this tie section. This looks really, really good. I'm digging it. Even some nice gold right there for the zipper. Very realistic look. I like it. And I really like her flesh tone too. Really good flesh tone, really nice smooth skin. And then looking right here at her t-shirt. Nice color variation right there. Nice studded belt. Pants look really nice too. I really like that. Now here's another complaint of mine is that there is not enough Michonne back there. Uh, Michonne's, you know, a much healthier woman than that. And yeah, I don't think they really depicted that very well. You know, yeah, definitely needs a lot more Michonne. I've watched every episode. I know how much Michonne is supposed to be there. But anyway, going back to these boots over here, I think that looks really good. Nice mud on the boots. Really, really nice silver paint apps on there too. That looks so realistic. Dang, I love that attention to detail. Same thing right here on this side, to the detail. I feel like I couldn't speak for a second, but that looks really good right there as well. She does have this little stand right here, which really does help, so I like that. And then going up to here to the katana, I want to remove this so you could see. I uh, just got to take this out from her hands, and on there it goes. So you can see how warped it is right over there, which is kind of a bummer, but not a big deal, I guess. You know, you could use some heat to straighten that out. And then just to show the other pose, you could just remove the arm like so, and remove this arm like so. And then you could grab the right arm and go ahead and plug that in. I mean, it's really easy to figure out. You just match the shape right there and plug that in there. It stays pretty nice. And then get this one over here and get that. Whoop, did I grab the wrong arm? I did grab the wrong arm. Shouldn't have put them next to each other. And there that goes. So now she has the forward holding blade. And then all you can do is uh, just take the katana and then just Try to get the hands lined up. And she does have a little bit of articulation right over here too. So you can see that the wrists do swivel. So I like that. So you kind of want to get them matching so that they make a hole together, you know, like that. And then go ahead and weave the katana right through here. 
and it's not too tricky, you know? I don't know, it's giving me a hard time right now. Yeah. Okay, so I got that put together. It actually took more might to get this shoved through than I would have liked, but it still works, and I think it looks really good. And I didn't mention this earlier, but I think the attention to detail right here on the gloves and the fingernails and everything, I think that looks fantastic. But yeah, I think I like this pose the most out of the two of them. I don't know, I just think that's a very cool looking Michonne. I like that a lot. Now, I did mention that the wrists do swivel, so they swivel on both pairs of arms over here, but she also has has ankle pivot which really trips me out I mean it really helps with setting up the statue it doesn't move forward and back as much it's just mostly an ankle pivot that you get over here and same thing with this side too so I love that they did that that just makes me very very happy ankle pivot on a statue now this statue is advertised as standing at 10 inches tall and she's actually standing just a little over 9 inches tall and it kind of makes sense because her knees are bent over here and then here's our Michonne statue next to the McFarlane toys 5 inch Michonne figure and then here she is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown spider-man so so again, I really like this statue a lot. I think Michonne is one of the coolest characters, definitely one of my favorite characters from The Walking Dead. So if you really like the character, you really like The Walking Dead, you're really going to like this piece. Yeah, I have my couple complaints, but they're very minor compared to how much I like the statue. I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of these boxes over here if you want more shark in your face. If you're 18 years of age or older, please become a patron. I have a new Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation up there for you guys. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to ToyNewsEye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. Oh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.